Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to our iOS development series, Tinkering with Table Views. In this video, we're going to be adding constraints to our Table View cell that we just created over here, and then we're going to go ahead and create our custom class for the Table View, where we can go ahead and drag our IB outlets for our image view, item name, and count label. Let's get started. So first thing first is, let's go ahead and add constraints to our image view. I'm going to go ahead and control click on my image view, drag to my left, and go ahead and say leading space to container. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the top, except for the top, I'm going to go ahead and say center vertically in container. Okay. So those are our two labels. The next thing is I'm going to go ahead and down below over here, you can go ahead and add the width or the height. So I'm going to go ahead and add both of those. Fantastic. So now we have our four constraints for our image view. Let's go ahead and do the exact same thing for our item name. So for our item name, I'm going to go ahead and say horizontal spacing to our image view. I'm going to go ahead and give it one to the top. So let's go ahead and Whoops, let's go ahead and do it to the top of the view, top space to container. Fantastic. And let's go ahead and give it a height and width as well. Great job. And last but not least, we have our count. So again, horizontal spacing to our image view, go ahead and control click down to the bottom space in our container. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a width and height as well. Great job. So now that we've added constraints to our custom table view cell, we now know that no matter how our table view looks, the stuff inside of our table view cell will always look great. Fantastic. The next thing is to create our custom table view cell class. So going back to our view controller at Swift, just like we have a class view controller, we can also create a class for our custom table view cell. Okay. So after importing UI kit, we're going to go ahead and say class custom table view cell colon what type of class is this? It's going to be a UI table view cell. Okay. So again, all we did is we created a class custom table view cell type UI table view cell. Fantastic. So now that is a UI table view cell, what we can do is we can go ahead and say in our custom table view cell zip that, Hey, this table view cell will be associated with our custom table view cell. So go ahead and click this third icon. This third icon is the identity inspector. In your custom class, go ahead and just type custom table view cell. So this links our table view cell with that class we created in our view controller.swift. Now what I want to do is go ahead and make the IB outlets. So select our table view cell, go ahead and open the assistant editor. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this so we have some space. And over here, I'll let me go ahead and expand this just a bit so it's visible. I'm going to go ahead and click on our image view, drag and drop to our custom table view cell. Make sure you're not dragging and dropping to our view controller. It won't let you do that because our custom table view cell has been linked with our view cell. So go ahead and drag and drop over there. I'm going to go ahead and call this as item image. All right. Then we're going to have item name as an IB outlet. So we have item name. And then last but not least, we have our item count. Okay. Great job. So this lecture is very, very simple guys. All we did is we created the constraints in our table view cell. We created our custom table view cell class and we added the three IB outlets, item image, item name, and item count. Anyways, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.